Some of you might remember it. Almost three years ago, we introduced our own process of thermal modification of wood called Rico Timber, together with the University for Sustainable Development in Eberswalde in Germany. We developed this process, but why all this? Wir versuchen die äh, thermische Modifikation von Hölzern in ein System zu kriegen, zusammen mit der Hochschule für nachhaltige Entwicklung äh, in Eberswalde arbeiten wir daran, ähm, wirklich rauszukriegen, welche Modifikationsart, ähm, welche Konsequenz hat, zu welchem Ergebnis führt, dass wir einheimische Hölzer so äh, modifizieren können, dass sie klangtechnisch den im Moment gebräuchlichen tropischen Hölzern äh, <clears throat> sehr nahe kommen. All right, we modify our local wood in order to make it usable for building guitars. So this is the background. Rico Timber enlarges our range of woods that we can use for building guitars. Ich will nicht Tropenhölzer gänzlich ersetzen, aber ich will die, die unnötig sind, ersetzen an Stellen, wo sie unnötigerweise verwendet werden, wie zum Beispiel Griffbretter und Steg. Da gibt es ganz viele andere Materialien, die auch dafür taugen. Da will ich sie ersetzen. An anderen Stellen will ich sie einfach ergänzen. From now on, we can use plum, sherry or pear to only name a few wood that grows in your and our backyard to build high quality sounding guitars. And these two models over here are the first two serial models built out of Rico Thimber thermally modified wood. The first one here is the AR22S ACE. It's a typical Baton Rouge guitar with the auditorium cutaway size and it also has the BR2 two-way pickup system of Baton Rouge. The top of this guitar is also quite typical for an acoustic guitar. It's solid German spruce over here, um, but it is thermal modified. Back and sides are built out of flamed maple and the neck is built out of maple and the fingerboard that is quite special is built out of plum. And that's how the guitar sounds. thing. That's the first one. The second one is just over here. It's the AR32SA. It's also a typical Baton Rouge acoustic guitar without a cutaway and without a pickup system here. So easy playing. It also comes with a solid German spruce top. You can see it looks not as dark as uh, this one over here looks but it's still different. If you watch this guitar here, for example, that's normal German spruce, not modified. And this, and also this, is modified. Back and sides on the AR32A are built out from flamed alder, and the neck is also maple, and the fingerboard, again, this wonderful looking and very seldom used plum, thermally modified. And that's how it sounds.
So these two models certainly are the next generation of acoustic guitars. If you want to learn more about the whole process, make sure to watch this video linked over here. It explains how all this works scientifically and it also tells a bit about the story behind Rico Timber. If you have any questions regarding it, make sure to comment just down below and tell us your thoughts on all this. In case you're wondering why this all here looks like a construction site, well, it is a construction site. This here is going to be our new YouTube studio for 2020. So if you want to know more about Baton Rouge guitars, La Mancha guitars, and all the stories behind, then make sure to hit this subscribe button just down below here. To never miss out anything there is coming a lot of new stuff so thanks for watching and try out these wonderful new rico timber thermally modified guitars see you next time